<laughs> so, even though I'm in, you know, my zone of fighting, um, but the man with the iron fist is going to be off the hook. I mean, if you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. It's on the front page of IMDb, which is International Movie Database, and you got Russell Crowe, you got Lucy Liu, and I got to do a scene with her, which was amazing. <laughs> got, I worked with her for like three days, and it was well worth it. So. Was this the favorite movie? Or this was this the, your favorite movie shooting? You know, I got a lot of uh, favorite moments in movies, but there was a lot of favorite moments in that movie. So, you know, it's 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 tough to to say. How are Lucy's martial on the arts skills? Scene? Believe it or not, Lucy Liu is the real deal. She works hard. She crashed through this chair, scratched up her knee and says, I'll do that again. I don't think I got that right. I was like, damn, girl. <laughs> Go, girl. Can you expand on the amazing scene? What made it so amazing? You got to watch it. If I expand on it, then, you know, people will know about it. Here you are in your second UFC fight. What are you trying to bring to this fight that you didn't in your last? My character is Bronze Lion, and I'm going to bring Bronze Lion to this UFC fight against Patrick the Predator Corte. And I think the lion is a, the king of the mountain, so I'm going to be king that night. That's what I'm going to bring to the cage, the octagon. I got to remember that. They told me, use the octagon. Cut out cage, octagon, that night. The bronze lion will be in that octagon that night. When the smoke clears, I'll be there. You ever but, think about growing your hair out like the bronze lion? Hell not. Good look for you, dude. I, I like my uh, short hair. You saw that. Attack! <laughs> no. um, uh, you know, I was kind of game to... to uh, come out in the full suit and everything, but uh, uh, we didn't cut the deal in time, so it didn't happen. We'll get back on track with the fight. Um, talk about your feelings on the change of the fight, and, and what was your initial reaction when you got that phone call? My initial reaction was I was kind of bummed about not fighting Rich, because, you know, he's a legend too, but, you know, Patrick Corte, no easy opponent. Even though he's been away from um, UFC, he's on a four-fight win streak. So, you know, for me, um, I'm happy to be part of this fight, and, uh, the biggest uh, change was my sparring partners because from southpaw to standard uh, orthodox fighters, I had to switch them out. You think he's a little more dangerous than Rich, or vice versa? You know, Rich is dangerous in his own, uh, you know, in his own style, and it's how I match up and how I prepare for it uh, makes it less or more dangerous. But you know, me, I leave it all in the cage, and you know, um, I come to fight even though I broke. My uh, nose for the third time, last fight against Vanley. If the referee would have sat me down and said, "Okay, you got one more, you okay?" I'd be like, "Okay, it's, it's my third nose break. I, I know a good nose doctor. I would have I would have went out and fought again." Oh well, it's it's a fight, right? So until if I if I, if I have to get carried out, that's how I'll, I'll go out on my shield. That's how I go out. You feel like that experience against Vanderlei really helps you, you know, moving forward in this sport. Definitely uh, going up against someone like Vandalay, uh, you know, um, helped me become a better martial artist because one, you always learn more from, uh, from, from a loss. And I went back to the drawing boards and I saw what I did wrong, which was I forced and I looked for the knockout instead of letting it come naturally. And, um, and it didn't work out my way. So, and his camp had a great game plan, so, you know, when, do you, when have you ever seen Vandalay back up? Never. And when he backed up, I'm like, hey, what's going on? So, but it is what it is, and this is a new day, it's a new fight, and I'm ready for this. Patrick said that there's no secret that he's going to come out and want to put the pressure on you. Uh, how do you uh, plan to stop that and keep your range, use your kicks? Well, if he puts the pressure on me, then I've prepared for Patrick Corte since the Vanley fight because I had King Mo putting pressure on me mm -hmm. and I know he doesn't have the same pressure as King Mo so I welcome it. Bring it baby. You expect there to be some wrestling in this fight? I expect Patrick Corte to look for the single leg on my right leg. I, I study him and he catches the kick on the right side and he goes for that that um, that running the, down the pike or hiking which I, I call the hike and uh, he's gonna look for that single. So I, I know I know a little something about something his game plan. He's gonna look for it, but hey, uh, you know, um, I'm a high school All-American wrestler, a college All-American, and uh, I know a little bit about wrestling. At 40, do you feel like maybe you would have wanted to start your MMA career a little earlier? I know you were a great kickboxer, you're undefeated there, but with MMA, do you wish you had started a little sooner? What are you talking, 40? It's the new 30s, yeah. <laughs> you know? You're so, making it look good here. How do you stay in such top condition? How I stay in such top condition? Yeah. 
is two things, wheatgrass and lots of sleep. Of course, diet and, uh, you know, and just being happy. Smile, lots of smile and, and live a good, fun life. You're fighting here in Vegas, but the uh, San Jose card's right around the corner. Was there any talks about having you on that card instead? No, no talks. Um, believe it or not, uh, my fight's going to be a featured fight in all of Southeast Asia, and they're going to stream it live over there. So, um, the, you know, of course, you know, they just got into Macau. They, they, now they're in China. They're spreading like wildfire. So um, I think, you know, me being um, uh, an Asian fighter, it's good for them to, you know, get me on this card and promote this card, you know, for the Asian fans. The experience of fighting in the octagon, you know, compare that to the cage of Strike Force. More room, obviously, but how did that extra space feel? You know, um, I didn't really notice the extra space until um, I started attacking, and when Vanley kept backing up, I was like, oh, you know, he's got so much room. And that's when I noticed. But, you know, other than that, it's, uh, um, I, I think uh, you can make the cage smaller for me and Patrick, and uh, we won't even notice it because I know he's, he's here to fight, and I'm here to fight. So we got a big fight on our hands. How about uh, outside the cage, the adjustment between Strike Force and so you obviously have more media obligations than ever before. Uh, how I didn't experience the, the the crazy media until when I was my first UFC fight in San Jose, and the, the amount of media I did was like as much as I did I do for a movie. So um, it's a lot more. I would say ten times more, and which is a good thing. At the same time, the sport's growing, and this is great for MMA and. I, like I've been telling everyone, bef uh, you know, all, in all my interviews, I believe MMA is in the rear view mirror of baseball, basketball, and football in that order. Steven Sagal is here. Will you approach him at all for me to get an interview? I have my agent, my lawyer, um, and my manager. I wouldn't approach Steven Sagal. <laughs> I, I, uh, the funny thing is, other actors, unless they're like Channing Tatum won't help you get other parts. They might use you for um, a part in their movie to make them look good, but it's all, it's all how good your team is, and my team is the best in the business. That's why I'm in all kinds of movies, and you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Steven Seagal. Yeah, I mean, he, he pretty big in back in his day, but uh, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of others if you know what I'm saying. Come on, spit it out. <laughs> no, just kidding. I can't spit it out. Thoughts on the main event? Thoughts on the main event? It's gonna be an awesome main event, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I get a chance to watch it. Prediction? No prediction. It's gonna be an awesome fight. Hey, we're the Tachi Palace Ring Girls. Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com for all of your MMA needs. That boombox in the backyard goes. The boombox in the backyard goes. The boombox in the backyard goes. Godspeed and party on.